Hi everybody, hello, 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 here is Sunshine, California, so excited. So we know that Passover is coming and we know we're going to have a trip to Israel as well. So those two things I would like to address. First, the whole concept of Passover, most people need to understand. It's very important time because this is the time that you're getting out of Egypt. Now, what is that Egypt? It's not a country out there in Egypt, it's something inside, meaning my selfishness. My ego, my jealousy, my fear, my need for approval, all of those things can be basically overcome in the night that's called the night of the seder. Seder means order, meaning in the moment that I put my life into order, things start to get better. Now, how do I do it? Basically, simple, simple, simple. We are gathering together and we meet here under this beautiful sunshine. And once we are join each other and understand what we're doing by doing all the technology of the seder then step by step we're making our life better and it's not just going to make the day better or the night better what happened what happened in that night that that few hours is defined basically the next year to come so the night of the seder is basically the night that define exactly what's going to happen with your life think about it a group of people leaving Egypt, the Israelite, God is choosing this time to be the time that they are all getting out of the slavery. What is slavery? Slavery is not something that you are with a stone. Slavery, I'm slaving to something. Now, how are you going to get out of it? You're just going to go out there and say, okay, today I'm going to eat a little matzah, a little uh, a poor man bread, or drink four cup of wine or do all the Jewish things that Jewish people are doing for a long time. We are doing it for 3,000 years. We're still slave to something. So this, the, the idea of getting out of slavery has to be done with the right technology. What we're going to share this year in Passover, and I hope to see all of you, and I hope you're all going to join me. We're going to share technology, how you can do it. I don't want me to do it just for you. When you're going to be around me at the table, I'm going to show at each table now, through this technology, you're going to start to make your life better. And the proof is in the pudding. We don't serve pudding at that night. But the proof is in the pudding, meaning that your life needs to get better. Your life, life must get better. So that's the first thing, to make sure that your life becoming much better in the area of business, in the area of relationship, in the area of your health, of your body, of your soul, in the area with the communication with people, with your children, with your family, with your friends. All those things has to work, must work. It must work. This technology is available for thousands of years, but we gotta apply it, we gotta start using it, we gotta start doing it, okay? So do not forget, Passover, together with me, with Debbie, together we're gonna start teaching you technology how to do it. So in each table where you sit, you're gonna do exactly what the head table will be doing. It's not gonna be just the head table doing it for you. You gotta do it yourself with me, and through that, we're changing the universe, changing yourself. That's the one thing I would like to talk about. A second thing I would like to talk about is the concept of traveling to Israel. We know that in June, the end of June, we're going to be in Israel. And we're taking a group of people with us. And we're going to go to different locations. Those locations are designed to help human beings. Where do we learn it from? It's from the Bible, actually. When Moses sent the spy to tour Israel, one of the spy named Caleb was afraid that he would fall spiritually. So he decided to go to where? He went to the Machpelah, to the cave of the Machpelah or to the grave site of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When he went there, he held the tomb and he said, Fathers, Please help me. Mothers, Sarah, help me. They died a long time ago. Why would they go to a burial place? So the idea is that we understand spiritually, when you do it with the right technology, with the right name, with the right letters that I'm going to teach you in Israel, and you basically take your left hand, or if you take your forehead and you put it on the tombstone, you will start changing your life. Why? Because there is a soul of the righteous man there that comes slowly, slowly to guide you and to change you. Now, a lot of us try to change, try to make our life better. 
But to make your life better, just to wake up in the morning and say, ah, my life is about to get better. It, it's not happening. I don't care how good you are in psychology and how good you are in self-motivate yourself. You need help. We all need help. If you feel you don't need help, then you're already doomed. Forget about it. That video is not for you. But if you think you need help, those are the two major tools that I'm sharing with you. First one, coming soon, less than two weeks. We're gathering here. We're doing Passover together. Through the Passover, we change. After that, jumping to June. In the end of June, we're traveling to Israel. As we're traveling to Israel, we start changing the soul. Changing the soul meaning I am start collecting different righteous people into my life and saying, okay, help me. When you walk around in Israel, wherever you walk, whatever you eat, whoever you talk to, it elevates you to the next level. So those two things, it's a must. It's something that when you do those two things, it's just changing your life, changing your soul, improving your sustenance, and improving your health, and improving your, your relationship. Specifically, your sustenance and your health. Don't forget that. It's a powerful, powerful tool that once you apply it this year, the next year will never be the same. Remember that, please, and apply it. Thank you.